Uh, hello everyone and welcome. Uh, in this video we are going to see how to create a single instance application. So that is the application that can be run only once at a time. Uh, so for example, let's say that we have this uh, new BCL application that contains only uh, the main form, so I can run it and uh, this is the first instance of the application, then this is the second instance, and again a third instance. So pretty much I can run the application as many times as I want and each time I will get a new instance. But what if I want to uh, limit this in a way that I can only have one instance of the application? So uh, I'll show you two ways how you can uh, deal with this. Um, first we need to open the uh, main project file that is by default project one CPP. And inside the uh, function main uh, well, our first approach will be by using the mutex object. So uh, you can uh, understand mutex object as a shared resource between threads. So mutex is uh, an object that can only be owned by one thread at a time. And uh, if a second thread tries to own it uh, before the first one uh, released it, uh, it, it will simply fail. So we'll use that fact in order to detect if application is already opened or not. So Let's create a, a mutex object. Uh, create uh, mutex. Um, so this is the security, nothing. Uh, uh, what's important is the last parameter here. And that last parameter, uh, or the argument in this case, will define the uh, name of the mutex object. And that name should be uh, unique. So uh, each mutex object, object should be uh, having a different name. And uh, let's just call it uh, my application. Okay. And now I will check if uh, each mutex uh, equals null, meaning uh, did we succeed in creating this uh, object? And if not, uh, output y. So I'm going to say get last error. Okay, else, uh, let's see uh, if mutex object created it didn't contain any errors at all. So if h mutex, uh, no, if uh, get last error. Um, equals uh, error already exists. Okay, this is the key line here uh, that checks if any error happened, uh, was it the error uh, saying uh, error already exists, meaning uh, that the mutex object already exists. And like we said, uh, only one uh, mutex object can exist, only one object, uh, only one mutex object with the same name and he will be owned by one of the threads. So uh, I'll just say here show message uh, application already running and uh, quit. Let's say like this. So let's try this. Uh, so what happened uh, when I uh, created this first instance of the application? This first instance created this mutex object uh, called my app. And uh, this first instance, meaning uh, her main thread, now owns that object. Okay. And now what happens when I try to create a second instance? I get the error uh, that application is already running. Why? Well, uh, the second instance, meaning uh, its thread, could not create the same uh, mutex object because that object is already owned by the first instance. And until the first instance releases that object, uh, no other instance can create it. So that's how we know if application is already running. So uh, I closed the uh, first instance and now that object is uh, released and new instance uh, successfully created and opened. Okay, and no other instance again cannot create it because uh, it's already owned by the first instance. Okay, and again released, again taken. So that's how you can uh, solve this 
by using a mutex object. So, like I said, mutex object is a shared object between threads. Uh, and the second approach, uh, what we are going to see is uh, we are actually going to check if there are any active windows opened uh, with the title of our application. So, let's try it like this. Uh, and equals find uh, window and uh, what I'm going to uh, find here uh, I think um, in here I will find the class that represents the window so this is the form 1 and uh, inside this is the class that represents the form 1 so I'll just copy that and place it here okay and uh, what I'm going to do is to simply say if uh, so uh, if we found the window with this class then uh, HVND will not be null but if we found that window meaning that window is already opened it will not be null and I will just say uh, show message notification already running okay and again return minus one so uh, this looks much easier uh, and faster to implement so uh, this window uh, now is running and uh, when I started the second instance uh, it's uh, uh, she detected that uh, this uh, window is already active meaning it's already uh, open, he found it and he showed us this message and will not continue further meaning it will not create a second instance but I can improve, improve this code and uh, okay uh, by not just showing the message I'll just say set uh, for uh, window uh, age Okay, let's see what we'll get here. So now watch this. I have the first instance, okay, and I'll try to create a second instance, uh, but instead I have uh, activated the first instance. So meaning once I create any other instance, it will actually activate the first uh, instance that is already open. So that might be uh, useful. Uh, because the user will automatically see that he already had that application opened. So I hope you'll find this useful because uh, I know I did sometimes and uh, it, it was actually very hard to find this part of the code and it's, as you can see, uh, quite simple. You can use either a mutex object or a find window uh, function. Thank you for watching and see you later.